Hello, you beautiful Soul Eater fans. So today, I I finally finished, by the way, I finally finished Soul Eater. I'm still on the manga, but I finished the anime. So I was recommended by some of my viewers to watch Manic Melody music video uh, when I finished the anime. So I'm going to do it. It looks like it's like a manga music video. I've heard great things about it. I've seen other people react to it. So I'm going to check it out and I'll post it. I'm definitely excited to finish the manga. I, I'm progressing through it. So currently, <laughs> by the time I'm making this video, I'm like 30 something chapters into it. And I think there's 114. So yeah, definitely excited to check this out. Thanks for the recommendation. If you have other Soul Eater content that you'd like me to like incorporate into my channel, since I have finished the series and I'm only doing the manga now and some other one-off edits and stuff feel free to comment give me some recommendations below it's funny because i actually had a dream about soul eater last night i had a dream that like the soul eater characters were then pulled into a different anime universe and then like it was a whole new anime series that they were a part of and i was like oh shit i have a whole new series with the anime characters i could react and post to but I don't. It was just a dream, but they might hopefully hopefully that's me foreshadowing them to do a full metal alchemist brotherhood reboot concept for Soul Eater. I'm going to manifest it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Enough talking. I'm sorry. I'm done. Uh I'm going to play the video now. <laughs> and I think it's uh it's by Panic at the Disco. And I love Panic at the Disco. Not love. Okay, I wouldn't say love. I'm not a huge fan cuz I don't listen to them religiously, but I have listened to them a great bit forever ago. So Let's play it. This is so cool. Already. Oh, shit. Ah, I love them. This is done really well. Holy shit. This is so fucking good. Like, it's really good. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is really good. I'm getting like a lot of nostalgia right now. Dude, this is so fucking badass. Who is that? Who the fuck is that? Sorry. Not sorry. So fucking good. This guy. I don't know who this is. It's probably farther in the manga. I have, I have, do, I've done some skimming. I, I haven't gotten any spoilers yet of the manga, but just out of curiosity, because I, everyone's saying like the manga is better, the manga is better. So like, I like, I'm on like chapter thirty, and I'm like, I'm like, what's chapter sixty look like? And I, like, just the look of the panels. I don't even read the words, and I'm like, this shit looks nice. That's a new character. So like, I, I'm not spoiling anything. I just, I'm very curious of like how far the plot and everything goes, and like the the artistic panels, because I love panels. That's that's what like I do art and stuff so like I'm I'm a visual person too so like I love just looking at art and I feel like manga's perfect like like I like reading books but it's just all text for the most part so manga is like the perfect thing for me cuz it's like reading but like image 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 I'm one, I'm like the meme like does your book have images in it but it's so good I yeah so I don't know who that guy is Dude, they all look so badass. Kishin, baby. The genie hunter, or Kishin hunter. Shit!
Holy shit. That's fucking badass. Oh my god. It's probably it's definitely spoilers for the manga. But holy shit. Her her scythe has the piano keys on it. That is awesome character design. And like her her gown shit, like I don't know, like glamorous style. I don't know. I don't know how to call it, but that shit looks sick. Oh man, this looks good. Ah, oh, that's so sick. They're all on the Kishin? Damn. What is, what is it? Because I'm bored? Is that the channel's name? Because I'm bored 1. Because I'm bored was already taken, so we're because I'm bored 1. Well done. That was fucking awesome. Great job editing. I do video editing. Like, besides my my reaction channels, I like, because I like do Photoshop and that stuff, so like I try to make cool edits with editing and all that. So, in my free time, I do like to do like other video editing stuff that isn't my reaction stuff because my reaction content's very simple in terms of editing. So like I totally like I read their description. They said like they started on this video in 2017. I think they finished it by 2020 or it was posted in 2019 of June, but they started in 2017. So like a two year project, understandably, because like that's a lot of work for this video. And I'm glad it's gotten so much views. 17,000 likes like it deserves that because th this shit was good it was great editing and a lot of work because like he even like did a lot of photoshop so like to color grade each thing and to have them all like the still slide accordingly tons of editing and time involved in this and it shows like it's it's fucking awesome this was cool i think maybe a little bit of spoilers for the manga <laughs> but that's on me you know it's been out forever and i took forever to catch up on it but not too many spoilers i just think i saw how the kishin died which looks better than how they wrapped it up in the anime because it looked like all the members were actually involved in him like at the same time not like one at a time fighting him but like all fighting him at once and that's like they killed him off and there was a new character i didn't see but i I loved seeing Maka's scythe soul having the piano keys as part of like the design of that. That was fucking awesome. That was so cool. So yeah, this video is well done. Like it's awesome. And like it gave me a lot of nostalgic vibes, even though I just wrapped up the show. It's 51 episodes and I've taken fucking forever to finish the show. But you know, I'm a big boy. I have a job. I have all kinds of other stuff. So justifiably, it took a minute to post everything at least. But it gave me a lot of nostalgia already. It was so good. Really great. And I do hope they do they do, do uh, a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood reboot style. Because this, this would is like a well-deserved anime that definitely needs the reboot. And I can still see it happening. I think the best way to go about it, the creators, Mork on Fire Force, when they finish Fire Force, have the ending be the segue into the beginning of Soul Eater. That's the best, because like Shinra, Shinra is basically the creator of the Soul Eater world. So they'll just end it with him creating it. And then like maybe like a credit scene or something like Soul Eater coming in, <laughs> into the like next year or something like that. Like some type of cliffhanger to like tease that they're in the works of making Soul Eater. And I think the best way to go about that is start with young Lord Death and like him with his eight members of his group or whatever. And I learn all about them maybe in a season or two to like learn and discover like to focus on the corruption of Azura and like how he 
was trying to become the Keishin and how he went fully crazy and like show the downfall of their organization and all that before Lord Death beat the shit out of him and wrapped him in his own skin. And then the next few seasons continue into the, that's when they'll do the time jump uh, into like X amount of years where it's Maka's age with soul kid, kid death, death, the kid, black star, Subaki, all of them. And then like continue their storyline and quest until Azura comes back into the mix to like finish um, to tell what like the anime told, but then continue past that to what the, the manga was telling and wrap up and be more accurate to the manga storyline passing what the current anime was. I think they could do a phenomenal series and make that shit run forever. Like My Hero Academia, that's like six seasons now. And I feel like if you follow that storyline I su- just suggested, that could easily be six six seasons. So I think it has a lot of potential. It's just like if that's something they're willing to put the work into again to do the reboot. But I, I would see like... From my experience, like posting my content on YouTube and TikTok and engaging with people, the Soul Eater fan base is still so huge and still trending. It's crazy. So I think there's a lot of potential and it's worthwhile to do a reboot. The fans need, <laughs> like we all need the new reboot, but also I just feel it's so good still that they would have no worry about doing a reboot and having enough views for their st- their new series i think there'll be enough of viewership to keep like you know the production studio going making the series and everything even though it is a reboot i think it's worthwhile so it's going to be on them but i, I i'm 50 50 i i'm, I'm being optimistic because i could still see them doing it trying to be strategic and following it with when they wrap up fire force because it came out in 2008 yeah it's been 15 years so I think that's long enough a year more from now to when they probably implement the reboot whenever fire force ends i think they'll do it i don't know i don't want to i don't want to like feed false hope but i'm very optimistic that they they would still do it so yeah this was amazing though i appreciate the recommendations for this uh i'm gonna give uh I'm, you know of course i'm gonna give shout out to this creator and they did an amazing job and i'm gonna share this video link uh, in my comments and description below just to give them credit and if you want to watch the full thing yourself to do it and then just make sure to give them some love on their actual video on their channel because uh, they put a lot of work into this so it was awesome definitely looking forward to posting this but yeah if you guys are new here feel free to check out my anime or my series reactions to Soul Eater and then also check out my manga review videos if you're interested in chatting with me and everything I'd love to hear your thoughts on Soul Eater stuff And then we could talk more about it and just watch it together and check out the manga together and stuff. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on everything I just rambled about in terms of doing the reboot and like how they could go about it in terms of the stories they could tell and everything. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But yeah, sorry for the long talk. If you stayed this long, I appreciate you uh, and hope you have a nice day. Bye.